like when he's doing the offside dribble, and he's doing a slot shot, this is harder. Just so you'll know. However, I want you to see it because it's a really weird thing. It's a really unusual shot, but if in the on the odd case you can you can actually bring it into your repertoire, it's absolute cheating. It, I mean, it is it is a crazy ass shot because you're like, mm, I'm in my stance, and then you get hit in the ear hole over and over again. I'm not looking at you directly. I literally am right now, but I wouldn't. <laughs> no, no. But my saying is, but, but you're the only one here who's seen a whole lot of it. Yeah. And so, so basically, it, it, it because it, it, it's a bit of a game changer. It allows you to grab that initiative, right? Because if nothing else, they have they have to account for it. My squad, my squad down there all night, but they're, they're, they just hated the shit out of it for years. Because because it's you just can't be there. You cannot be in that range because. You have to come out so far in the block, because what I'll show you is, it actually rides rides any any positional block up and down. So it's really hard to block done correctly. Um, and then, what, what do they do? Like Martin had a, a, a great example of a good thing to do. You stick your, your, your sword in your ear hole, it lands on your ear hole. But what's the problem with that, on some, with some of our stances? The face gets really open, and heck, didn't we just do a drill about slot shots? And added them together and all that. I don't want him to it to be his turn. So and, and this is especially good against guys with flat flat styles or this and all that. Because the block itself doesn't matter. It almost doesn't matter how high. You, you can have a flat block and you could be this high and it doesn't matter. Because if you do it right, now it's, the, it's a little bit of contortion. You, you're coming up and down over the block and you can be this high, it doesn't matter. You can be out here, it doesn't matter. It's a little harder, it gets really, really, really tall opponents. You almost have to actually hop to get it. But it's, it's a neat shot, and it's something that, that, that is unique to, to my style, and I wanted to show it to you. Um, one of the things, the very first thing I'll tell you, that I call it a shot just now, so it's, it, it is a shot, but do not think of it as a SCA sword shot, because it is not. If you think it was a shot, you're gonna you're, you're gonna go up, down. It's not that. It is more like a pitch, like a baseball pitch. It's more like a golf swing because you're doing this precise thing in the air, and it does this gyration in the air based upon you know it doesn't really matter where their stuff is because it's gonna do the same, same thing every time, and it hits them in the air hole, but de de depending upon where, where they're where they are, you know, and so. That's the hard part about the shot. That's why you don't see it a whole lot because you cannot think of it as an SAA shot. It's more like a pitch. And so what, what I'll do is, if someone wants to get their hat on, I can I can just do it to somebody. Actually, I prefer something shorter just just, just because. <laughs> oh, no, too damn tall. Well, it's a little easier to do on something shorter. I, I want them to see a, a, a little better version of it. Is somebody out. getting their helmet on? Oh, yeah, yeah. Cohen's getting his helmet on. Oh, you want it short? We got Cohen. Yeah, there you go. Get short. Kind of weird. <laughs> you Why don't you put your pot on so you have an average size person? Here's a couple of them. A bit. Really? You want to see short? Let's do it. The strummer shot. I love the There you go. I said, I said they want to see short. Cohen, stand up. <laughs> you know what? I need to do a lot of that. That's yeah. me. Cohen, it's okay. Just get on my shoulders. Does anybody uh, have? I need a ball, a balder held his sword. That's fairly. Thin. Mine's floating right there, right there behind you, Kern. Hey, Cohen. Massive Good enough. Good enough. Well, it, it's got a little shape, but tell me. <laughs> Great. Actually, I'll be honest, the smaller your opponent is, the easier it is to hit the shot. So, thank you. Is that one all right? You want to try that's the one you're holding that's got a straight handle, so I don't know. I, I'll keep them both over here and see okay. how it goes. Once again, so, so much of this is about equipment, right? Basically, and tailing your equipment to your style is hugely important. Now, the problem you have is, you don't really know your style until a certain level in your fighting career. So, it's hard to do that. Um, but just know that at a certain at a certain on this side. Yeah. at a certain point just don't block me yeah at a certain point um, please know that after you're getting very comfortable in fighting look at all your stuff look at your shield and your sword the the length of your sword the weight of it the, the basket hilt look at your all your gear because because it's really going to help you propel you to the next level 
if you have you if you optimize your gear for for the fight that you're that, that you're architecting is also going to keep you behind for those that don't and i have a great example in my opinion only of the gentleman with the the shield with the, the basket is hung right at the very top of the, the corner of the shield. That is, you, there he is. Yeah, sorry. But uh, but the great example of, we, we, everybody used to use that shield the, with, with, with the basket in here. The problem is, at stance, no matter how tall you are, you're a taller guy, so it's a little hard to get flat stamps on you and all that, but the good guys can do it. So so what, what, my recommendation, whatever shield you use, have it comfortable, and when you're in that C range or when you're in range, it has to be, it has to be basically at rest and still and protecting you. That, I mean, that's, it, 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 and you, you're a strong guy, obviously, since that's, that shield's fucking terrible to keep up. But, um, but, but, but you, don't see, you don't see that anymore. You don't see that on the very top, the very top of the corner. And, I, and, it's, and the, the, the positive is you can get around the shield very easily with your sword strikes because it's not gonna get in the way. That's also the negative because your opponent can get around it a little easier too. So anyway. But, but so, equipment. Um, I want to do one more thing, and, and His Grace uh, reminded me, and this is a really, really cool thing. So we talked about before, if you can get stance here, we talked about the, about the slot shot here. That slot shot looks a little bit like the offside head. It starts the same way. So we talk about shaving stuff off. We talk about get, getting rid of every single tell, getting rid of all the inefficiencies in each of your styles. However you do it, whether it be this way or whatever way, the cool thing about this is, and, and I think you're reminding me, this looks like this, looks like this, looks like that. I'm sorry, that's what I did that hard. Um, but, but basically, so not only is it fast, because we're doing all the fast stuff, not only is it not telegraphic, hopefully, because we're not climbing down, we're, 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 we're doing that, 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 that Musashi, actually. Musashi actually taught this this actual hand hand motion that we really learned earlier. So you so you've you added an efficiency because of this. You've added efficiency because you're not tensing. You've added this and this. Now you've added the fact that and also because your your sword is only getting bigger for a while, so, so to speak, in, 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 a, in through your perspective. And that's why I say when you're hunting, like deer see mo motion, but they don't. It's harder for them to see something getting closer to them like this because it's not side to side motion. But we're the same way. If we see side, any side to side motion, up and down motion, it's, it's a visual cue. But you're not going to near be, be near as effective as seeing just the object getting closer for a while. So, so there's that. And if everything starts the same way, you also have less chance to react to what what you threw. So once again, however you do your your offenses. Just know that if you polish off every little detail of it and you can get rid of all these inefficiencies, it's incredibly added to your offense. All right? Anyway, well, thank you for reminding me of that because that, 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 that is really important. No matter how you do your offense, if it's here or whatever, if every, every shot starts the same way, they just have less chance to, to uh, counter it. So let's go ahead and do this. So basically, that's going to be kind of easy. The way you're doing it. Okay, so yeah, either way. So let, let's, start, let's start here. And then we'll go here, and then we'll go here. So the, the three main, the three main guards. ways mm -hmm. guards. You'll see it. So the cool thing is, so what this this is, and I'll, I'll do it once. And I'll show you. So it's here, here. So and you're thinking, oh, you're just doing this because it's kind of fast. You're flicking it up here. What you're doing, you're flicking it up to 11 o'clock. All right. As soon as you're this high, once again, you can't think about all this as it's happening. You then dive your, your wrist down and your elbow up and you turn around. Everybody so, see where it hit him on the head? Where did it hit him? Behind the ear. Behind the ear. Ear hole. And tell me what, easy to call because you hear it. your eardrums kind of busted up. So, um, so and that's why I asked uh, his Grace Kern to bring out blue pad. I did. I have some. Do you want to know that? Uh, well, we can do it maybe when we do uh, two and two drill, uh, one on one drills. Um, and it's because. The well, we did it. We've done this a zillion times in the backyard for having you know just to, just to develop it and teach people how to do it. And the blue the blue pad is just great for this. You're not yeah, going to get the report on it and all that because because you got padding on your head. But it, it's it's definitely worthwhile. 
So anyway, so let's go ahead and, and do, an, a, do another another block. So make, make it hard on me, like that. I mean, so that's so at this point, this is a nice A frame here, and he has about three inches. So he would probably fight like this too often because his face is pretty exposed. But let's say that, that that's what he wants to do, all right? So keep it there or whatever. So it's here. So it's, sorry, more time. So it, it, go, it doesn't touch the sword until it, it, it's hitting him and what moves through it. So he's he's at wide stance. An A-frame, I would never fight it this way. All right? And once again, it's hard to see because you can't do it slow. That, that's the problem. You can't do it slow. But that's why I will practice a lot. But that's why you're flicking it up and down. And it's an absolute cheat because they're at stance. They're not going to get hit because, do, do a favor, because this... It's never gonna hit them. Whether it's this, chop, this, this, anything lateral. Even, 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 even if you, if you just chop this way, you're not gonna hit them. But you know what? That's not. I actually, it's just way out now. It's like a foot. <laughs> so, but, but, but it's here. And hits it right behind the damn ear. You're not spinning it until you're actually past the sword, are you? It's here. Here and look and, and, and look, look the back leg because like like a golf swing or a pitch, you really have to kill the kinetic energy that you're building up here. You, 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 you have to bring it up a little bit too. Gary, the answer is he doesn't start to move his, to spin his hand like that. Yeah, until, he's until his hand passes the plane line. of the mm -hmm. passes the plane drawn between his ear and the and so, Oh, that plane. Okay. You do that shot one more time, you Grace. Okay. And just so you know. There are actually there's you have a great video of it online. So yeah, so, online, so Kerr so. asked us to, to develop something. So we have we have this shot over and over again against a tall opponent um, online on YouTube and and on Facebook, but right, right. I think it's on YouTube as well. And it's a uh, it goes through it. We, we did it in a super slow motion camera. Yeah. So and so we did it from all the different angles, and we did it uh, regular speed and super slow motion, so you can see it all. Um, so let's go ahead and do the last one. So this is this is here. So that's I don't think you probably hold your sword that high very often, right? No. So so and this is the problem with if you find somebody fighting you against this style, they are dead men. Dead. You can you, you cannot block the shot that way. So go ahead and hold it up. So that's really good. Actually, you know what? Go an extension. So would anybody ever do this? No. Fight this way. That's great. Because, because you know what? I don't touch it. <laughs> and did it hit hard enough to kill? Call? I call it too. One, one of the things I remember when I was watching it, as when I first started practicing the pal, and I haven't mastered it at all. Um, I threw it a couple times today, but I still need some you to critique it. I originally was throwing it when I was I was leading with the hilt, and then trying to drive it around afterwards. And I, I, I contact, and I just want to make sure this is correct. You start off moving the tip of the sword. The, the end I of the, do. Okay, so that, that's well, important the, the tip to know. Of the go to, I mean, they're, they're both going. But so. that's what I'm saying. It's not like you're moving. Like, you know, a lot of times we throw our fist out there, and we the last second we tweak or torque it or whatever. And that's more like a shot, right? Right. This and is not. This is, you're throwing it out there and then just guiding it. It's almost like a like a pitcher. You know, it's here, here, and it's, it eats this. It's almost more like that than anything else. Right. But it's all, almost to the to the inside. The sword is moving first, yep. and, and the, the, hilt, the hilt's coming behind. I would be just so you know, don't be discouraged. I would be it's amazed if anybody did it right right today. Because it's, it's, well, it's, it's I'm gonna challenge you because I've practiced it a couple times. It's silly. <laughs> well, look at that. He's challenging. All right, let's see if I can get it. I want to see it. Here, 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 let's go. Let's go high this time. Yeah. Sorry, Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> so Kurt's been working on it. Just throw all my sticks around. Kurt's been working on it. Now he's qualifying. Oh, higher than that. Well, uh, well, that's right. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Um, it's easier this way. <laughs> when yeah, you're in it is. So, so the A frame is hard. That's the one that's hard because you go go into it. So, so, so you know. So, it, so that once again, it is easier this way. When so, they're doing this, it's easier. If they have this or this style, it doesn't matter. You're, they're done. The A frame is harder. You can't, you can't block it. My problem is when I'm fighting somebody, um, yeah. and they're doing yeah. an A frame. It's it's depending on how far back I, I don't have the, the flexibility you have whatever I guess but going to an A frame so I have to really that's thing is I'm not it's not natural yet you know but I do a favor let's go ahead and... holy shit dude <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all right that's fine I'll try it. I did like many ranches in that all right let's see 
And you usually do it from a, a shield foot lead, right? I do it from a shield foot lead, okay. yes. Nice! Is that close? Pretty good. And, and the now, thing I is, also noticed when you're in a video, sometimes you actually... I'm having trouble with the recovery afterwards. So yes, after you are. you've done that, yeah. I'd like to talk about that some. But that's, that's not bad. Because when I first started doing it, I was going like this and then doing that. Well, and it's not What that. you're doing it's, is you're not coming up and down. So your energy is going towards this way and not up and down and in. So, so, so if, if you're higher and lower it came in, okay. you wouldn't be so drawn this way. What you're doing is you're, you're coming up and you're going out and around. Okay. So it's not quite loopy so it's enough. It's a little more linear. Yeah, yeah. So, so you're not you're not having that kind of okay? almost Mobius strip of, of the energy coming here, and you can kill it with this. You're, you're almost going up and over. So it's it's, bringing, it's pulling you this way since you're since you're you're doing more. Okay. You're doing almost a hybrid. Okay. okay. Let's try one more time. Let's say I'll try not to go to the side as much. Much quicker. Now, see, I didn't get the, I didn't get behind it. Yeah, I, I it, it still look, looks it, it looks decent. It's better like than what I did, Pensic. Let's <laughs> put it that way. Go ahead. Keep so going. the cool thing was it's hard. It really took some practice. So we're cool looking at Pensic. You're hitting with the front of the blade um, or the back of the blade. Right. I'm hitting, I'm hitting with the front. You hit with the front of the blade every time. Front blade. Okay. Yeah. Front yeah. Of the blade. How was your wrist? Okay. But that's a great question. My wrist is kind of. It goes so fast I couldn't even tell. I start. I started this back blade. I did. We Martin and I talked about it earlier. Back in earlier in my career, I really wanted to try to figure a way to get around it. And I started my, my back blade. Yeah. If, I, if I could borrow, oh, I could borrow. That, that blade. I could do. And when well, he showed it to me last night, of course, since thumb lead is kind of my thing, I started immediately doing it to back blade and not, yeah. threw it twice and put it away going, I could do that, but this is ultimately there are inefficiencies uh, inefficient. to it. Yeah. That's slower. It's actually, if you do the back of the blade, yeah. that one you're, you're going to bind. It's going to be very close. It's binding. It's yeah. going to bind on your body. Yes. This one's not. Go flat it, but, so I threw it that way for a year or two. If I could just get through so you can get it. You can get it that way. The problem is, where are you now? It's, easy, it's a little easier to easier to block, and and then I'm done. Yeah. So if you block it, I'm done. And if I block it this way, I'm not gonna go here. Boom. Hit me. I, I can just override it, sort it on the way back in again. So it, it, and this is way way longer stretch too. Um, one of my ex squires, Duke Lachlan, will will throw that thumb lead, um, not not infrequently. Not only from mid-range but be careful so from the thumb lead we're in here he'll, 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 he'll do this and we talked about it during the break too that whole thing that we talked about spinning power up it's really good in, in, in short range too it's really good core a core or whatever body to body because I don't you don't need you don't need all that strength and muscle to, to build it up so so you hear I'm not good at it so I mean so but he, he can he's here he, he, he can and all that is is because I, I don't have the ability to engage my arm. It's just your fingers, and you can knock their block off with it. And he's so he, just so you know he's dangerous close hand. Yeah. <laughs> because he does all sorts of weird stuff, and then he'll do this, and then boop. It's it's not good. So can you do it one more time? And I want to I want to get the thumb lead video the the, the the offside back behind the ear shot with I want to see what you do with your footwork. So let's say you're throwing that ear in the fight, and you throw it and. And then you want to get out or whatever. I want to see you do it and recover. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, so the cool thing about it is, typically it's at C range, right? Okay. And if if indeed, I mean, generally it's some others. Every, every, either either their sword is in here, and there and there's just almost no way to because the sword is not here. It's, it's it's coming way over here, and it's hitting from like as almost the, the person's up here. Bam. So it's really it's but but if we assume and you can't block with your shield, so. So say they say sword blocks. Mm -hmm. So go ahead, I'm gonna do it a little slower and we'll just sword block it. Okay. What's his return? Your shield's there. Yeah, everything's here. I mean I am not gonna stand here, of course. So yeah. so, so boom. So, so so let's go a little faster. And your shield would be there. Yeah. yeah. And shield's here. Yeah, okay. Totally right. Well, like, well, that's pretty good. Oh, right, shield. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's got like your shield. <laughs> okay. right. so, so there's there's a whole lot of return for them. And Can you so, do it holding a shield? Huh? Sure Can right you do there. it hold I see that? Sure, yeah. You want to use mine? It, I'll be honest, it's a little easier for me to hold a shield because I'm not so much. You use a strap shield anyway. I'm, I'm just very yeah, mine's right there. Yeah, I'll use a strap. A little shield. I like my little shield. I'm sorry, you got it. <laughs> so, we right here. Yeah. So, so once again, it, it, I, I like it better. It counterbalances me better, actually. Okay. Um, one, one of the things that Martin and I talked about last last night too, that I think is a, is a cool additive to this shot is that when they do 